Alright guys, here's how to make our water rocket. Let's get to it. Alright, so the parts of our water rocket, we have our nose cone. There's the payload, that's our army man with the parachute. Then we have a the structure itself, which is going to be our water bottle. And then finally, some fins to provide stability. Fins will allow our rocket to corkscrew through the air so that overall it maintains a straight line of motion. In terms of Looking at the forces on our rocket, we have four different forces. We have thrust, we have a small force of buoyancy upwards, downwards we have gravity, and finally we have the force of air resistance, which always goes against the direction of motion. All right, let's see how this thing's made. Here's ultimately what our rocket's gonna look like. We got a nose cone here. This is gonna hold our payload. Then we have our rocket itself. We have three different fins, although the number of fins you put on your guys is, is up to you. I wouldn't recommend more than, you know, say five, but sort of a minimum of three, I'd say. Okay, in the cone, the cone is gonna go on the very top here, down here's the bottom. And our payload is our parachute guy. One of your team members, go ahead and make your fence. So take some cardstock that we got in the classroom Go ahead and draw some fins. I'm gonna make mine look like this, but whatever shape you want is up to you. All right, we got our three fins. After we've got our three fins, step one is going to be put them aside. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and do a tiny bit of decoration. So choose someone in your group who is a good artist. Okay, take a piece of paper, wrap your rocket in that piece of paper. All right, you might need. All right, now that a rocket is covered, we're gonna add some decorations. This is up to you. I'm not a particularly good drawer myself, so I'm just gonna call this the Regulator 9000. Okay, why? Greg's our evil scientist in physics, right? All right, looks so good, so good so far. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and put our fins on. So what are the purpose of fins again? To provide stability. So step one to do this, because it is a little bit challenging. Take some tape. Apply tape to one side of the fin, like so. Then place the fin on the end of your rocket that has the nozzle. All right, just like that. So far, so good. Okay. The challenge here is we want to make sure that all three of our fins are evenly spaced out. So you'll have to do a little bit of eyeballing me right there looks good. So put a mark. Mark right there. And a mark down there. Our hot glue gun. This will make it considerably easier to keep these fins straight. So go ahead and apply hot glue. Okay, when you're done gluing that side of it, you can just leave it standing upright like that. All right, while we're leaving this to dry, we're gonna go ahead and work on the nose cone. All right, so you should get one of these. Procedure for this is pretty straightforward, but I'd recommend having one person work on this while someone else works on, say, the fins or the decorations. All right. So all you want to do, roll this up into a cone shape. All right, use your tape to make sure it actually becomes a cone. It stays that way. 
Then we're just gonna trim off all the excess. All right, what a skill. Learning how to make cones in physics. There we go. Put our cone on top. Very nice. We'll apply a little bit of tape to hold the cone down. All right, by no means perfect, but I think you guys can do a little bit of a better job. All right, you can decorate this a little bit. If you put some nicer paper on top, you know, it'll be good to go. All right, but let's take a look. We got our Greginator 9000. It's got a nose cone. We take our army man, put our army man in top, and we're good to go. All right, easy as that. See you guys in class.